Hi, this is Neil Ford, and in my Introduction to Closure Workshop Part 2, I continue from Part 1 with a kind of gentle introduction to the concepts and syntax for closure. But in the second part, I get into slightly more advanced concepts, talking about concurrency, software transactional memory, and touch just a little bit on the practicalities of building closure applications, swing applications, and web-based applications to show you that closure really is a general purpose language and can build just about anything that can be built in the Java ecosystem, but with some significant advantages at the language level that none of its competitors really have.